Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving in an exciting topic in Python development, which is integrating Rust with Python using Robin. In the last video, we talked about the Pyo3 ecosystem and how you can use the mature and build tooling to build your Rust and Python library. But today we'll be looking at how you can write Rust code directly in Python without the need of any external build tooling. But before we start, I would like to tell you a story on why I decided to implement this feature in Robin. This journey started last month when I faced a challenge at my day job. A Python service, which was critical for our trading systems, was struggling under heavy load. And upon debugging, we found out that this was due to a Python limitation, a limitation with high performing compute heavy tasks. I remember thinking to myself that Rust could just easily fix this. However, given the scale of the project, the changes required, the changes in the build tooling, that change was just not feasible for us. Another way we could have solved that problem was just writing a C extension, but that would involve changing the build system again or using a microservice call, but the latency for the network call would have been a bit more and would have not just solved the problem. So eventually we stuck to Python change stuff serialization mechanism. But I remember ending the day thinking that this limitation should not have existed. So this is where Robin steps in. For those who are not aware, Robin is a Python web framework, which is written in Rust. And we will be focusing on the latest feature where we will be integrating and telling you how you can use Rust directly without the need of any extra tooling. No tooling required and the integration should be just seamless. So without delay, let's get started. All right then. So we'll start by creating an empty Robin project. We do that by specifying the Robin create command. We have the, you, we'll use the Robin CLI and specify the create flag. It will ask us the directory path, which will be the current one. We don't need Docker for this explanation, no database. And then we'll have two files. One is requirements.txt and one is an app.py. If we have a look at the app.py file, we'll see that we just have a simple entry point, a simple root, which returns hello world. Now let us focus on the latest version uh, that we were talking about. We have added two commands to the Robin CLI, which are compile Rust path and create Rust file. So what create Rust file does is that it allows us to create a Rust file in the current project, which will have a basic template of the Pyo3 uh, code that we'll require. And also it will provide us a way to directly consume a file. So we'll use the command robin create Rust file. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a Rust file where we will be creating a random number. We will be generating a random number in the Rust file and then consuming it from the Python code. We will be using the rand create in Rust and that will also show us how we can specify dependencies in the Rust code and consume it from Python. So we can call our file random number.rs. Now, we see that we have this file called randomNumber.rs. Upon, upon inspecting, we see that it is a file which has a Python function called say hello, which returns a string, which says hello random number implemented in Rust. And for the first demonstration, we can see we can just how we can consume this file. So all we need to do is just type import random number, which is the name of the file. And then we can use this function, say hello, and number dot say hello. And hopefully when we make a request, we should see hello from random number implemented in Rust, printed in our CLI. So when we are starting a server, what we need to do is use the uh, flag that is compile Rust path that we talked about earlier. And then we also can use the dev flag so that we can have the, a nice hot reloading feature. 
So once we do that, we'll see that the first thing that it does is compile the Rust file. So once it compiles this Rust file, it will start the server. And upon inspecting, we also see that it creates this binary for us. Now we can try making a request to see that the print command, the print statement is being printed. So as you can see here, here it is printing hello from random number implemented in Rust. But that is an easy thing. The core importance will lie in how we can specify the dependencies and consume the dependencies directly. So now in Robin, if you want to specify the dependencies, what you need to do is follow this syntax. You need to specify a colon right after the comment uh, forward slashes. Then you need to provide a space and then you need to uh, write dependencies in square brackets. And now you can specify any dependencies. We will be using the rand crate and the latest version is 0.8.5. And here we can just generate a random number. For that, we need to import the random function from the random crate. So it will be this. And finally, we will be returning a U8 type, let's say. So a random number, U8, E, random. And here we can just return U8, and we can return the random number from Rust. Now what we can do here is we can specify the random number and return it as a type for Robin. Instead of returning the hello world string, we can return it as a part of Robin. So let's call it a number and let us return this. And upon saving, we'll see that everything has been recompiled. We didn't have to quit our server. The Rust part is also recompiled. And hopefully, if everything goes well, we should see a random number being returned instead of the hello world response. So let us see if that's what happens. Okay, nice. So first time we see 44, then we see 198. That means everything is working. Now, let us try to induce an error forcefully to see if our hot reloading server can also detect that. Because happy compiles is just a happy case scenario, but most of the times the compile fails, and which is the most important part we want to observe. So instead of returning random number here, let us introduce a syntax error. Now we'll see that this has been introduced here. It tells us that we need to add a semicolon at the end of the statement. It tells us an error, and most importantly, the hot reloading server is not exiting. And once we fix that, hopefully if everything goes well, everything should start working again. So we see that the Rust files have been compiled again, and we get the response back. So this was just a quick demonstration of the latest feature in Robin on how you can use Rust directly in Python without need needing to set up an infrastructure or setting new build pipelines. And most importantly, how you can maintain the interpreted nature, the dynamic nature of your web server, even when you're using Rust. And that was pretty much it for me. Do let me know how you find this feature and I will be linking a blog if you want a detailed description below. But most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.